Hello and congratulations on your pregnancy. In this video, I'm going to talk about the epidural. You should know that it is the gold standard for safe pain relief during labor. When it is time to deliver your baby, you will be brought into a room with monitors. When you are settled in with an IV, your anesthesiologist will visit you. We will ask several questions like if you have any allergies, have a history of asthma or smoking, take any medications, and whether or not your blood pressures or sugar levels have been a problem during your pregnancy. Lastly, we'll ask what your experience with anesthesia has been. We will then examine you and talk to you about the epidural. After you give consent or permission to have it done, we will set up for it and it will look something like this. There is an epidural tray, sterile gloves, and a skin cleaning stick, medications, epidural pump and tubing, and lastly, tape. The epidural is best performed with you sitting. This allows us to see where your spine and hips are, which are important landmarks to find the location of where the epidural will go. These landmarks help us know where your spinal cord ends and where the epidural space is. The epidural space is just before the space where the spinal cord ends. With the epidural tray shown, we will proceed with placement. It is important you lean forward and drop your shoulders as much as possible. This will help open up the spaces in your spine and help with the placement. Your back will then be cleaned and dressed with a sterile plastic. We'll then numb the area and place the epidural. It is normal if you feel some pressure in your back as we place it during this time. When it is in, we will tape it so that it does not move. We will then set up the pump and you will feel relief after a couple of contractions. The pump will continue to give you medication through the epidural tubing so that you are comfortable until it is time to deliver your baby. If at any point you need an extra dose or more epidural medication, you will have control of it with a button to give yourself more. Let me stress that we only use a needle to get the epidural tubing into the epidural space. That means that when the epidural tubing is in the epidural space, the needle is completely removed. The epidural tubing itself is not a needle. It is, in fact, flexible and not sharp. Here, I show a syringe to resemble a pump connected to the epidural tubing. The medications that the pump releases through the tip bathes and numbs the nerves that control labor pain. Please note that the pump is set up so that you cannot overdose. Thank you for listening to this video. We hope it was educational. If you have additional questions or concerns, an anesthesiologist will be available to you day and night to discuss them. We hope to make your labor and delivery safe and as comfortable as possible.